Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a whole house clean with me and it's over several days so you're gonna see me change into lots of different outfits. But I hope you guys get some extreme cleaning motivation from this video. I will be cleaning my entire house. I also wanted to let y'all know that this will be the only video I'm posting this week because I am taking some time off to spend with my family but I will have a new video out next Monday and it's going to be our office reveal. So we finally finished our office. So I'm gonna be putting that video up next Monday. I'll also give you a little sneak peek at the end of this video of the office. And then next Thursday, I will also have a video up. So I will be back on my normal schedule next week but I wanted to make sure that I spent as much time as possible with my kiddos over the break because they actually go back January 7th. So we'll have a lot of good quality time together. And I hope you guys had an awesome Christmas with your families and I hope you have an amazing new year as well. Another thing that I'm gonna be sharing at the end of this video is our meal plan for the month of January. So a lot of you have said how much you enjoy seeing our monthly meal plan. So I decided that the end of the month of of every month. I'm going to be trying to share that. Most of them will be in a Thursday video, but this was the last video before the new year. So I wanted to go ahead and get it out before January. So at the end of this video, I will be sharing that monthly meal plan for January of 2020. So when I originally started cleaning, it was before Christmas. So you're going to see a whole week of cleaning basically. And I did take a few days off in the middle for Christmas. And then the day after Christmas, I started cleaning again. So we're starting here in the kitchen. We have a huge mess to clean up. So let's go ahead and get this kitchen in order. If you are watching today, I wanna know what you're cleaning while you're watching. And also let me know, do you watch on your TV? Do you watch on your phone and just kind of carry it around with you? Or do you watch on your computer? Let me know how you're watching today's video in the comments. And usually when I'm doing a cleaning video, I prefer to put it on my phone and kind of take it around with me as I'm cleaning. But every now and then I'll put it up on the TV and just let them run through so I can kind of listen while I'm running around my house. Was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light. Oh, but then you came and sat right next to me. Your eyes, they glowed and filled me up. We had never met before that time, but I just knew that we'd end up. You took it, you, you took it. Took away my loneliness, so oh, I know it, I, I know it. You're making me wholehearted. Together, two, together, together is always better. I don't want to be parted. You're making me wholehearted. You're making me, you're making me wholehearted. We jumped off the subway leading. Alright, so now that everything that doesn't belong in the kitchen is put away, I'm going to go ahead and unload my dishwasher. And one thing about the kids being on Christmas break is that we definitely mess up a lot more dishes.
I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide So on this day, we had tons of boys over at our house playing in the front yard and they literally played outside from like 10.45 in the morning until 5.30 p.m. But I did make them come in for a little snack lunch break where I just created this big board that had all these snacks on it for them to eat for lunch. So we had some turkey, cheese, crackers, um, carrots, goldfish, and then popcorn. And then also in the popcorn, I put the little jingle bells that I had had from, they're like little jingle bell jelly gummies sort of things that I put into the popcorn just to make it pretty. <laughs> but they absolutely loved it. And they were saying I'm the coolest mom in the neighborhood, which I'm sure that they tell all the moms that too. <laughs> but this is seriously one of the easiest ways for our kids to do lunch is just making this huge board for them to just eat off of. And they love it. They end up eating all the food and it just, it's a lot of fun. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon. Now at this point in the day, I still had my sheets and everything going in the washer and dryer, but I needed to unload some of the clothes onto the bed for right now, and then I will go and fold those a little bit later in the day. 
So now that the boys have eaten and I've put away all the stuff from snacks, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the countertops. I'm using the Method Daily Granite Cleaner here on my granite countertops. And then on my wood countertops, I'll use the Method Wood for Good Cleaner. And the last thing that I'm gonna do here in the kitchen for today is go ahead and do a quick vacuum. We vacuum constantly. I get the question all the time, like how often do you vacuum? And I feel like we are constantly vacuuming day, every single day, in the morning, at night. We have a dog, a chocolate lab, and he sheds horribly, so vacuuming is just something that we are constantly doing now i am looking at possibly getting a new vacuum this one is the dyson v7 and i've had it for several years now and it works great but recently i don't know if it's because i'm not cleaning it right or if it's just because we do use it so much but um lately it's been clogging a little bit and it'll turn off and on in the little compartment that holds all the dust and hair and everything, all the trash that it picks up. And so I'm looking at possibly getting either a newer Dyson because I've heard the battery life on those is longer too. So I'm either gonna get that or I've been, I've been looking at the Shark vacuums. If you have a favorite vacuum, let me know in the comments below and I would love to check it out. Wanna be the person that you call up when you're down Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets Can I be the now I'm finally getting to these clothes and I'm gonna go ahead and fold these up and while I'm folding I like to watch TV and I am still watching Heart of Dixie. I'm not through it yet, but I love the show um, I am on season two, but I'm definitely not finished yet and I think I have a lot more to go <laughs> But y'all let me know if you have any favorite shows in the comments below just in case I ever do end up finishing Heart of Dixie and need something new to watch.
now it is nighttime and I'm just gonna go ahead and put the sheets and bedding back onto our bed. I'm not gonna completely make up the bed because we are about to get in it to go to sleep, but it is going to get made in the morning. Yeah, you can count on me. So now it is day two of cleaning and I'm gonna start with making the bed since I have nice, fresh, clean sheets. And as you can see, I am in a tank top because here in Savannah, the weather has been so crazy. It's been in the 70s and I knew that if I was cleaning around the house most of the day, then I was gonna get so hot in a t-shirt. So I'm gonna wear a tank top today with some leggings and get this house clean. So my goal for this day was to get my bedroom clean and then also all three bathrooms. I love cleaning the bathrooms all on the same day so that way I have all the same cleaning products out and I just feel like I'm so much faster at cleaning the bathrooms if I just do it all at once. I keep on thinking back on it When we escaped with our first real paycheck Wasn't much but we needed less Yeah then we do now So here I'm just going to dust down our furniture with the Mrs. Myers Snowdrop scent and the multi-surface spray again because I'm still obsessed with this stuff, still talking about it. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't heard me talk about it, this stuff is amazing and it's only sold at Target. You can find it on Amazon, but it's so much more expensive on Amazon. And then if you can't find it in store at Target, it's the same price online at Target and you could have it shipped to you. Now, one of my goals for 2020 is to create a cleaning routine that works for me, and I know that it might not work for everybody once I actually figure it all out, but I do want to create some printables that are downloadable in case you guys want to use them. So I'm gonna put them to use, but then I'm also gonna be sharing them here on my YouTube channel in case you guys wanna download them and use them as well. So y'all be on the lookout for that in some of my upcoming videos here in January. I am seriously doing so many goal setting things right now for myself as far as family, fitness, faith, um, oh, three F's, I love that. So um, family, fitness, faith, cleaning, and working. I have so many different goals that I'm working on and I have so many different printables that I'm wanting to make to put to use in my own life, but then I'm definitely gonna be sharing with you guys as well. So since I'm going to be sharing those soon, I would also like your input. Is there anything that you are looking for and like specifically that you think I should make in order to um, help us get organized or help us with goals for the new year? Y'all just let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments. All of the things we went through Cause even though
on to cleaning the bathrooms. I'm gonna start in the master first and then I'll move to the other bathroom that's downstairs. Then I'll go up to the kids' bathroom. And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving Now for my mirrors, I'm gonna be wiping them down with the e-cloth and then I'm going to go behind it with the e-cloth polish and shining cloth to dry it up. And it just leaves your mirrors. You can also use it on your windows. It leaves them street free. Now on the mirrors upstairs in the kids bathroom, I ended up having to go over it several times with the actual glass and surface cleaner because it wasn't coming off. But I'll talk more about that in a little bit. So in my sinks here, I'm using the Method anti back Cleaner and then on my granite countertops, I always use the Method Daily Granite Cleaner. With you everything is complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that Now here in the bathroom, you're gonna see, I did not realize that the door basically closed on me while I was cleaning, but I did end up getting the other bathrooms. You'll see me clean the toilets in there, but I'm basically just using the Method anti back on the actual toilet, and then on the inside of the toilet, I'm using the Clorox Toilet Bowl Wand, which is amazing, and I always talk about that too because I love the way it smells, and I also think that it just makes cleaning your toys toilets easier than in using any other products that I've used in the past. Forever, I'm loving this moment. Can we stay forever? I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I Shooting me with words, but I will let them bruise Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright Like a ricochet all right, so we are in the kids bathroom and what I was talking about earlier was the mirror here so our elves had written on the mirror and when I went to clean it off with the e-cloth I could still see some of the marker left on there so I ended up using the method glass and surface cleaner and going over this several more times before I could finally get it off and I still feel like I could see maybe a tiny little streak of it and all that was used was a simple black whiteboard marker so I'm not sure if it's just this type of glass that's on this mirror or what it was but it was so hard to get it clean and maybe it was also because if you noticed it said five days until Christmas but this was actually up there for a few days so this was not five days until Christmas this was the day before Christmas Eve when I was finally cleaning it off so maybe that's why it was not coming off very easily but it did end up coming off for the most part and hopefully it'll get even cleaner the more I clean it um, in the weeks to come.
Next day was Christmas Eve and I didn't do any other cleaning besides just cleaning up after cooking in the kitchen and things like that. But since you already saw us clean in the kitchen and you already saw me making my bed, the day-to-day -day stuff, then I wasn't going to share that again. But I did want to share a little snippet of our Christmas Eve and Christmas morning in case you guys wanted to see a little bit of what the kids got. Come on in, Christmas 2019. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, what is that? A bunch of, here, don't go in your stockings yet. Wait for your stockings, okay? Look at your other stuff. What'd you get, buddy? What'd you get? I I can't believe it. You got lucky. I never thought Santa would bring you that. Oh my gosh, Jason, you got the switch, bro. Gracie Jim, what did you get? <clears throat> Is that poopsie slime? Bunch of kitty cats? I thought you only asked for one kitty cat. Oh, yes, desktop not. cornhole. A bath bomb. What a the bath heck bomb. Is Don't go in your stockings yet. We're going to do Crazy. that in a little bit. Wait for the stockings. We're going to all do our stockings in a little bit, okay? What is that? What's this thing right here. I feel like this is kind of like a Rubik's Cube that's already mixed up. Is that a friend for Trixie? Yeah. They can play together. Yeah, this is for mommy. Yeah, okay, that's mommy's stocking stuff. Oh, mommy got stocking stuff. Thank Casey. I got a key. All right, so it is the last day of cleaning for this video, and I'm finishing up the rest of the house. So the kids are making their beds really quick. This was actually the day after Christmas. So the kids are making up their beds, and I'm going to actually wipe down the furniture in their rooms using that same Mrs. Myers multi surface spray. And then I'm going to clean up in the playroom and vacuum upstairs, and then I'm going to mop the floors downstairs. Now, anytime I show the kids' bedrooms in my videos, I always get questions about where I got their bedding from, and it's from the company Betty's, and I do have a link to their website in my description box in case you guys want to check them out, and then there's also a coupon code for a discount if you are interested, and I love their bedding. They just zip straight up. It makes it super easy for the kids to make their beds, and as you can see, we knocked the camera over there, but... I love this bedding and it's super easy to clean and put back on the bed. I just love it. So if you are interested, check out that link in my description box. Talk a little deeper, kiss a little harder. I wanna love out loud. Talk a little deeper, kiss a little harder. Love a little louder. Love a little louder. We went to a small bar with neon lights. Talked about everything that was on our mind. Talking to you gave me butterflies. Then you took my hand, said, Let's leave now. Don't wanna be shy.
I'm moving into the playroom and I'm just gonna pick up a few things here and there but it was mostly cleaned I just needed to put a few things back where they belong and then I'm going to wipe down the furniture and vacuum in here and as you can see I have not taken any Christmas stuff down yet and I was curious to know whether you guys have taken it down yet or when you start taking your Christmas decor down I'm thinking we're gonna start this week um, haven't started yet but we are going to start and I will film it so that way you guys can get some cleaning motivation from it. Also, I was trying to figure out how I'm going to decorate next. So y'all let me know, what do you decorate for when you take your Christmas stuff down? Do you just do like neutral decorations or do you decorate for winter or do you go ahead and decorate for Valentine's Day? I usually don't go like all out for Valentine's Day. I'll put a few things here and there. But I was thinking about doing a few things in the kids' playroom for Valentine's Day and possibly like a tiered tray or something like that. So let me know what your ideas are and what you guys want to see next on my clean and decorate videos. Now our whole upstairs is clean and all I have left to do is mop downstairs but before we go down I wanted to share with you guys our little gallery wall that we have going on in our upstairs hallway. All of these canvases that you see here are from Mixed Tiles and this is not sponsored by them. They have reached out to me in the past but we just haven't done anything as of yet and these were actually just, it's so funny because Chance got these for me a few years ago for Mother's Day and then this year for Christmas he got me some more that I'm showing you right now these are some of the recent pictures that he found on my Instagram account had them printed and shipped and I absolutely love these so maybe in the future I'll work with them but otherwise you know this is not sponsored and we completely love these so definitely check out mixed tiles if you're looking for some awesome canvases for your house all right, so now we're moving back downstairs and before I mop, I'm gonna finish vacuuming a little bit. Um, I've already vacuumed earlier in the day and I didn't wanna reshare some of that vacuuming with you from the kitchen and everything. But like I said, I'm vacuuming pretty much every day, but I did need to vacuum over in this area of the house because I had not done it yet this day and I figured I would get it on film. We'll roll with the punches. And now I'm moving on to the mopping and I'm using my O-Cedar Spin Mop and so many of you have tagged me on Instagram or sent me DMs and told me how much you love your O-Cedar Mop and I'm so glad that you do because this is definitely my favorite mop that I've ever had and I'm just going to be using the pine saw on my wood floors and then when I'm done I'll move in and clean my bathroom floors. But like I was saying, a lot of you have shared this on Instagram and then you'll tag me and I love it when you guys do that. So if you are ever inspired by anything that I share on my YouTube channel, not just products, but maybe you're inspired to clean or maybe you were inspired to do a monthly meal plan or whatever it is, 
will you share it on your Instagram account and then tag me so that way I can reshare your post because I want people to see that this is a big community. We're all sharing each other as each other's ideas and we're encouraging and uplifting each other. So definitely tag me so I can reshare you guys as well over on Instagram. So when I'm mopping the downstairs, I always start with the breakfast area first because I have to have those chairs pulled out to get under the table really good. And then I'll let that area dry. And while that's drying, I move over to the other side of the house and kind of move in a big circle when mopping the downstairs. Don't tell me that you're sorry. All you do is part of me. Don't know what I'm gonna do. I wanna run away every time when you with me. You want me to stay just because you need me. I wanna run away every time when you with me. You want me to stay just because you need me. I just wanna run. Alright, so now I have the main living areas mopped and cleaned downstairs and I'm going to show you what all of that looks like nice and clean and then I'm going to move into my bedroom and then I'm going to mop the bathrooms. Even when my teardrops start to dry to shine again taking all the advice there is and none of it has helped experience has made me realize that i won't build my life on empty words being so damn naive it only hurts all right so the last areas that i need to mop are my bedroom and the bathrooms and then i will be done cleaning and then i'm going to be sharing with you guys my monthly meal plan So now my entire house is clean, hallelujah. I just feel like it, there's nothing better than a clean house. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna sit down and plan out our meals for the entire month of January and I'm actually gonna fill them in on a calendar as well. And I like to do this because it takes a lot of the work out of planning for the rest of the month. So I only have to do this one time a month where I sit down and plan out our meals. Now, I do look at our calendar weekly to make sure that we can actually do those meals on those days. And if there ever needs to be any rearranging, I can do that. But for the most part, we know our calendar for the month of January. So I'm going to go ahead and put those meals on our calendar and have it set. Now, some of you may 
instead of putting it on a calendar, you may want to make just a huge list of meal ideas that you can have for the month of January. So that way each week you can plan out which meals are going to go on which days. So for January of 2020, I decided I wanted to do a lot more freezer meals and dump and go crock pot meals that can also be put in the freezer. So I'm going to do a lot of meal prepping at the beginning of the month to make it easier on me throughout the rest of the month. And in just a second, you're going to get to see our entire meal plan that I actually came up with. But I also wanted to let y'all know that in the description box of this video, I'm going to have a link to my Pinterest board. And I'm going to do this every single month, y'all. I'm going to stay on top of it. But I am going to be making a Pinterest board that's for every month. So the one that's in my description box right now is our January meals for 2020. And it'll have all of my pinned recipes that I actually have planned for the month of January. Now, some recipes that are on my meal plan are ones that we just do from memory. And they're not actually Pinterest recipes. But I did find as many as I could and link them in there. So that way, if you guys want to print out my meal plan or you want to use it, whatever you want to do. And then you can even just go to my Pinterest board and repin all of those recipes that I have there. So I would love to hear your feedback on how I'm sharing all of this and let me know if it's helpful for you or not because I definitely want to keep sharing the monthly meal plans if you guys enjoy seeing that. I probably will start putting them in the last Thursday video of the month just because it'll be easier to share in those videos. So let me know if these are helpful and I will keep doing them. I'm also going to be posting a picture of the meal plans on the community tab here on YouTube and then also on Instagram. Now, if you guys decide to make a monthly meal plan, make sure to snap a picture of it and share it with me either on Instagram in your stories and tag me so that way I can reshare it or just send it to me in a message or something so that way we can all see what you guys are eating for the month. All right, y'all, so I hope you enjoyed today's video, and now I'm going to give you a tiny little sneak peek of our office because this is going to be the next video to go up. It's going to be a clean and decorate with me in the office. It's going to go up next Monday, and y'all let me know if you want it to be a premiere. I'm thinking about premiering it so that way I can live chat with you guys during the video. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out so much. And subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Taking all the advice there is and none of it has helped. I'm so tired of